So here's Delny now. Maybe we even get a land with the um, Amalia, you know? Look at how much life we're getting now. Look at this. The throne? Who needs the throne? If you have a turn three now, where you can do it, you know? What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Today is a beautiful day, and uh, we just came out of the live stream for you. I just came out of the bed. <laughs> I overslept uh, ever so slightly because, I don't know, my, my sleep rhythm, like, when I came sip, my sleep rhythm just went haywire. I, I don't sleep anymore when I should be sleeping, and I sleep when I shouldn't be sleeping. So, yeah, I still made it in time. We're still here for everything. Livestream still went down. At least I assume that uh, no flood came or whatever. Even though there like could be some storms and stuff. So stay safe, my friends. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that's tuning in here during the live streams. When I started doing the live streams, I wasn't sure how well it would be received. You know. Um, because it was a switch from my usual doing the videos to doing the videos during the live streams, which for me was a huge difference to what it was before. So thank you very much for everyone that's there. We always around like 150 to 200 people on both platforms. I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, of course. So that means the freaking world to me. So thank you very, very freaking much. My phone just made a noise. I don't want that to happen. And uh, yeah, also, also. We are on our way to 30,000. We're just skipping the 29,000. I think it's an ugly looking number. <laughs> so, straight to the, uh, you know, to the 30,000. We're just 1,100 people away at this point. Like a little bit more, like 1,120 or whatever. But, I feel like in one or two months, we can freaking do it. And it would mean the freaking world to me. And uh, yeah, let's try to do, reach that before the next set hit. I mean, hey, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. And one last thing, and then we we'll stop the yammering. Um, as Jim Davis always says, you know, the best way to support your favorite content creators is to leave a little like. Go ahead, do that if you want to. That would mean the world to me. And of course, do it with everybody else as well. If you are on Jim Davis' page and you see his content and you like it, just push the little like button, you know? It helps the algorithm. It helps people find the video. It helps the content creator getting found. And, uh, you know, just a little push for you, but a huge step for me. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the two-face hammering. We're playing Life Game. And there's some new cards that, oh my lord. I don't even know how this deck can lose more than one out of five games. I, I just don't know. It's just so freaking good. So we have some new cards. Let's go over the old cards real quick. We have a game plan, of course, of Lunark Veteran, Voice of the Blue Acid, Amalia with Ilias and Core. So, you know, these just pump these here. And that is pretty darn freaking good. But there's some new cards that just make this deck chef's kiss freaking deli CEO. So, uh, we also have a wedding announcement as a three drop because uh, some more tokens and we get to that real freaking quick. So, when I saw this card, I knew that it would fit straight into this deck, like straight up. Um, Delny the Streetwise Lookout. This card is just, oh, mamma mia so buono. Um, we have creatures you control with power 2 or less can't be blocked by creatures with power 3 or greater. That is alright, you know, we, we have situations where this comes up, you need to get in with that last bit of damage. Uh, and in the late game, this can be very relevant. If you're up against like a mono green deck and you have like, you know, a lot of little creatures you want to get through, it is absolutely possible. But the most important part here is part two. If an ability of a creature you control with power two or less triggers, it triggers an additional time. That is like a roaming throne on steroids. Because we can play it on turn three. So that is cheating itself in. So that means there is a steroid part. <laughs> you know, just... Alright, and uh, that means if you play a Lunark Veteran, and you play the Voice of the Blessed, and it's the first time it triggers, this will trigger twice, which will trigger this twice, which means four times. Two times two is four. 
same with the Amalia. So that is absolutely freaking amazing. Later on, it will just trigger the Lunark Veteran twice. But you know, there's also like a little clause here on the uh, LSL Core Statistic Pilgrim that says whenever a creature you control dies, opponent loses one life. Now they lose two life because it will trigger twice. So if they, like you know, you attack in, they block whatever, now your creatures die. You don't care about that. No one really cares about that because now they will lose two life. And that is absolutely what we want. Especially in considering that we put in the Wisp a Drinker Vampire. I wasn't certain about this card, but then I thought, you know, I will try it because it works very well with the Delny and all the rest of the deck because it says whenever another creature with power 2 or less, so we have the same theme, that is why Two-Face, um, enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. So that will trigger the Voice of the Blessed, that will trigger the Amalia, Benevidas Aguere. So we have that, and if your Delny is out, which it might at this point, it will trigger twice. So you get twice the triggers on here, and twice uh, twice the triggers on here, and twice the triggers on here. So there's also the part where it says that creatures you control with power two or less, gain death touch and lifelink if you pay seven mana, but we're only playing 23 lands, so it shouldn't, you know, shouldn't give you too much trouble. Um, we're also playing one of the new lands, uh, the Shadowy Backstreet, but only two of them. That is the maximum you should have of them. Uh, it's pretty good considering that we're playing the new card, Assemble the Players. Um, you may look at the top card of your library anytime, and once each turn, you may play a creature with power two or less from the top of your library. Well, cast, cast it. Um, from the top of your library. So, if you have two of those out, you can do it twice. If you have all three of them, you can do it thrice. Is that the word, thrice? I think it is. And that is very, very darn good. And another new card that we're playing is also, like, I almost forgot, the case of the Uneaten Feast. It's like a Lunark veteran on a freaking case. How cases work. They get in, and then they have, like, a, a certain thing that you have to trigger. Like, in this case is, you have gained more than five life this turn. Then this case is solved. We will now know why the feast is uneaten. Which is pretty good. Once it's off, you can use the third ability down there whenever you want. You can sack it, and now creatures in your graveyard may be cast from your graveyard until end of turn. Which is crazy good. If they block your creatures or whatever, now you just, you know, play them again. And if you play them again, that might trigger this, that might trigger this, and that is just absolutely freaking great. So. Um, but, you know, the gaining one life when a creature enters, very good with the Voice of the Blessed, the Amalia, all of that, just exactly what we want. The penultimate, I know that word is real, card that we're playing here is Kaya the Spirit's Justice. I think it fits very well in here, because there's a lot of stuff that can happen. So first of all, she has this passive ability that whenever one or more creatures you control uh, and or creature cards in a graveyard. So it's either you control or graveyard are put into exile, you may choose a creature card among them, and until end of turn, one of your tokens, it doesn't say creature tokens, one of your tokens becomes a copy of that creature, except it has flying. So, that means, if you for some reason have a treasure token, you can now that turn that treasure token into a voice of the blessed. But, Kaya makes herself also tokens. With a plus one ability, the one in the middle, you can make yourself one of these spirits. They're one one flying spirits, you can see it right now, but I will put it here. They're one one flying spirits. Um, I think it was Christina Krauss' first artwork, so uh, kudos to you, my friend. And uh, yeah, so now you can, for example, turn these tokens into a voice of the blessed. You exile it from your graveyard with the plus two ability. You survey two which means you can throw two things in the graveyard if you want to from the top of your library, which works very well also with the assemble the players to throw away lands. Um, then you uh, may exile a card from a graveyard that can be theirs, but it can also be yours. So now you choose the voice of the blessed, now you play one or two creatures, uh, it will trigger the counters, it will also be flying already because it's a spirit token. Now this token that you just made before will get the counters, but it will keep the counters. So that is Shevsky's freaking delicioso. And we finally have a target removal again on a Planeswalker, which is also very darn good. You exile a creature you control, and for each other player, which is relevant for a commander, I guess, you exile up to one target creature that player controls. 
So, that means you can exile one of your things, turn your token into that creature, but you can also just exile one of your little spirit 1-1 one -one tokens and exile their freaking Itali or Atraxa, uh, Childred, whatever you want to do, works very freaking well. So, and then, you know, just attack in. So, a lot of games win with this, a lot of games win with this or this, so it is very darn freaking good, Downy just amazing. And the last card, Art by Dominic Meyer, but that is not the reason I put it in, and I will stop. You exile up to two target cards from a graveyard, from a single graveyard, then target player gains two life and draws a card. You of course choose yourself, but this is an instant speed gain life, draw a card, which in white is rare, and as we're playing Orzhov, we can make use of this. Um, because it has a black cost in it, so that's very, very freaking good. So yeah, you can instant speed pump your voice of the blessed. Your Amalia, of course, depends on if you have a land on top, but you know that because of the assemble the player, so that is very good. And the desist part. The seize is this, the desist part is you can destroy all artifacts and enchantment. Yes, we do have some as well, but if you're up against an enchantment player, or if you're up against a, an attractor player that just pooped out four uh, leyline bindings on turn five, you just destroy them on turn six, and now you get everything back. So that is very darn freaking nice. We're playing one Restless Fortress or the Life Gain, and that's it. Sorry for the long introduction, but it's some new cards, so I want you all to be able to understand them really, really good, without any questions left. And that is it. So thank you all so very freaking much. This is Harvey Dent going crazy. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those two-faced games. We're up against Mac Dave. Is that the new burger? Oh my lord, Krimus! Yes, Krimus! I like the hand, even though we're missing like one uh, white source here, but we might be getting there. It's good to you as well. Thanks, Iceman. Bring in this now. Career's briefcase. Interesting. Let's be greedy for one turn here. I think being greedy for one turn is absolutely alright. Ooh! The sauce! The absolute freaking sauce here. We might be drawing cards. We will see about that. The absolute freaking sauce here. Somebody playing the roots. I played this in my early access, so yeah. Okay, all right. That is interesting. Are you attacking in, though? You are not attacking in. Okay. Another land. Not exactly what I was looking for here, but at least we can get rid of Kaya. That is already very darn good. Okay, let's go. Just you wait. So, I think I will be playing my own Kaya next turn. Ashiok. They're going pretty hard here with the tokens, you know? Pretty darn hard. Okay. Keeps things interesting. Let us attack Ashiok here. Just doing this, that is fine with me. Which is Kaya four, right? Yeah. So she will survive. What did they exile? Come on, man, really? You just draw two Kayas in the first freaking 50 cards plus an Ashiok? Absolute man. Yo! Yo! Come on, man!
Come on. They're just wasting me. Just freaking wasting me. Like there was no tomorrow, man. Get out of here. What even is this? Are you for real, man? Are you for real? And I must be for real. No blocks. Come on, they're the most luckiest person that I've ever seen, man. Ever in my entire life. Okay. But I feel like we can do stuff here. I'm the best ghost hunter in the business. I feel like we can do stuff here still. With the voice of the blessed. Now doing this. Now the question is... Which one do we want to destroy? Or are we just straight up going face? I think Kaya is important here. Does it keep the counters though? It does keep the counters! Oh, that is amazing! That is freaking amazing! I didn't even think about that! That is just pretty darn good, not gonna lie! He threw away a land. It keeps the counters. I totally forgot about that part. Okay. We're still draining them for a lot, which is nice. I like that. So, okay, let's go. They attack my Kaya here. They do. Don't really care about that too much, to be honest. Whoa. That one actually got Another through. land. Um. Target token. So. That is you. I don't let anything slip through the cracks. <laughs> Other than Get rid of the land. Um. Just put down the voice of the blessed. They gave me a token, so I'm okay with this, you know? <coughs> Absolutely okay with this. Now we use this. Now we can play creature cards from our graveyard. Which is absolutely great. So let's bring in you. I think we get him now. I think we do get him now. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is absolute madness, man. This is absolute madness. I thought they would get me, but they didn't get me. So we're gaining all the life here. And uh, just attacking in. I could have done even more, but I for some reason pushed the button. So yeah, who on me? Who on me, I guess? But hey, still all right. Still absolutely all right. Jesus Christ. They had to not start. The absolute nuttiest start. But in the end, it didn't even freaking matter. Get out of here! Rubgan's the very dear friend of us. Ginger, why is this bottle just falling down all of a sudden? Ooh! This is a very good hand. Stupid bottle, get out of here. Opponent's going first. I do not like it. They're playing dinosaurs, by the way. Everybody that has this avatar is just playing dinosaurs. You're going down to five? You're not playing dinosaurs? Okay. Alright. I'm all for it. What you got here? Fauna Shaman. Let's be greedy here. Let's be freaking greedy here. With this I can remove a land off, top, off the top and just make certain that this like will pop off real good. And I like it if it pops off real good. So that is our plan here. 
I'm online since eight hours now. <laughs> I will be doing like this deck and then I'm going to bed. Okay. They're attacking him. That is fine with me. I'm gaining so much life. I really don't care. Ooh, ooh. Okay, all right. Um, actually, no. All right, we're gaining so much life here. It's another land. Okay. And it's Kaya. No, we already have a Kaya, so it's fine. It's fine. Um, I am attacking in. We're being aggressive. Hey, hey, aggressive. My eyeball hurts. Galisa. All right. It's an elf. I forgot that part. Literally forgot about it. Wedding announcement. Uh, are we being greedy one more turn? Nah, we can't. We'll be greedy afterwards. That is fine. We'll just be greedy afterwards. So, Voice of the Blue Acid comes down. Yes, I would like another Voice of the Blue Acid. Thank you very much. And now I will just pay three life and get rid of the Glissa. I mean, hey, you know, we have so much life. We can just do that. We can just freaking do that. Um, I want to keep my Elias Elcor. It is way too importante here. So I will be playing my um, Delny next turn. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm just exiling my graveyard. Okay. Man, nah, that is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. So here's Delny now. Maybe we even get a land with the um, Amalia, you know? Look at how much life we're getting now. Look at this. The throne? Who needs the throne? If you have a turn three now, where you can do it, you know? Um, let's get rid of this. And just attack in because they cannot block it anyways. You can just not block it. <laughs> you can try and block it, my friend. You can try and freaking block it. But let me tell you one thing, it ain't working. What? What are you doing here? Okay. I mean, hey, this also triggers twice. So go for it, my friend. Freaking go for it. I'm okay with that. Absolutely okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dear Ginger. Why did you play elves? Why are you doing that? You shouldn't. You just shouldn't play elves. That is right, baby. Kaya for the win. I mean, they scooped, but still Kaya for the win. Oh, having removal was a good idea. I should have done that from the start. <laughs> from the start. We're up against Bloodwing. Opponents going first. Hen is very iffy. Uh, we have a... We kind of have a start. But not the start we want. Better than nothing, I guess. The other hand was slightly better. At least we do have the assemble the players. Oh, it's another one, okay. Just straight up another one. So if you play assemble the players, you will always have like two to three lands on top, so we will be playing it here. You have a duress. Are you playing duress? Jeez, what? Okay, which are you getting rid of though? That is the question, my friend. That is the absolute question here. Please don't be the assemble the players. Very good. Very, very good. Alrighty. Elias El Cor is amazing. What do you have here? Well, I mean, that's fine. Just wasted your duress. So you do that, my friend. Let us see what's on top here. I guess it is a land. Yep.
Let's bring in Dalny, because if they do have a removal, I want him to remove Dalny. And that's it. Nothing else. Like, we can play Elias Elcor into Voice of the Blessed next turn, which is absolutely great. There you go. There you go, my friend. Just as I expected it. It popped up into your YouTube recommendations after some Jim Davis streams? Yo, that is amazing! Like, if you enjoy Jim Davis and you enjoy me, that is awesome. That is a huge compliment to me. The hugest freaking compliment. So, do you have another removal here? Is your hand only duresses and removals? It is! It is! Or a Terra Sunder. Might be a Terra Sunder here. Like, Jim Davis is amazing. I, I really, really love Jim Davis. Oh my! Okay! Um, yes. Amazing. We can finally do this. Another voice of the blessed. Yes, please. Yes, please. So, do I get more if I play this first or this first? Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. I mean, they're down to one card, though. What even gives? What even freaking gives? They still have something in hand! Or is it just Misha's Foundry? They still have something. That is madness. Absolute madness, man. Alright. Okay. If they have a Gix's Command here now, I will be slightly disappointed in you, game. Ever so slightly. The question is, do they even want to discard their two cards that they have in hand, you know? Like, if they use the Liliana here, so be it. So up until now, uh, we have been here. Stuff happened. They still have a removal here. Another Virtue of Pers- Come on, man. Like, seriously. Game. Chill. Chill, game. Chill. Like, what is with all the people having, like, double and triple the same removal all the time? <laughs> it happened in the five-color deck as well. So they don't want to use it here, which is absolutely understandable. It really, really is. But the thing is that I don't really, really want to use my Elias Elcor here, you know? Because I don't have any cards in hand anyways. So they need a real good removal here. And I could find, like, something good here. I mean, six lands in the first 13. Not the best. They have five in the first 13, so it's more or less the same. Cruelty of gigs. That slightly sucks. Burahey, Burahey. I bet that they're getting a gigs command here. Or maybe they got themselves a land, you know? There is a chance. So what you doing here, my friend? Are you discarding something to get it back with the uh, cruelty? That is pretty smart, not gonna lie. If that is what they did, that is, that is brain moves. Absolute brain moves. Nope. Uh, we do have enough for everything here. But I want to keep some stuff in my hand, you know? This isn't how things were like, if they do wipe the board here now, I wouldn't be too happy with, you know, all of this. So they can get the voice of the blessed or this whisp whispering a vampire or whatever. But if they do, you know, have the cruelty, uh, the Gix's command, that is not the smartest thing ever to happen now for them. So with the Lunark veteran, I wouldn't have had enough. Two, four, six now. Okay. Blossoming turtoys. All right. They're still doing stuff though. Really? Really? Game, you are a piece of garbage sometimes, you have to admit. A real freaking piece of freaking garbage, man. A 
A real freaking piece of freaking garbage, man. It's absolute insanity. So the question is what they're doing here, though. Absolute piece of garbage. So at least we didn't run into a sunfall, so that is alright. That is already something. Question is, how do we win here? Oh, that is a little bit greedy, my friend. Just ever so slightly a little bit greedy. Ah, oh, come on, game. Come on. All right. Monsters know better than to hide under my bed. Um... Exiling the voice of the blessed here. I don't let anything slip through the cracks. Other than myself, of course. Just attacking in with everything. I mean, they are very low, you know. And each creature that dies also gives me life. Which is pretty darn good. So hey ho, let's go. Alrighty, what else do we have in here? You're getting the Sheldred? Alright, you do that, my friend. You freaking do that. That was always allowed. You're being a little bit greedy here, not gonna lie. You're being slightly greedy here. So... What? I mean, you go ahead and do that, my friend. You go ahead and do that. No blockage. The question is, how am I winning here? There's a Dalny that I knew about. How am I winning here? Um, do I have enough? I barely don't have enough. Let's do this now. Being incorporeal is a great way to leave a doll party. A oh, wait, I can take something of theirs. But I don't know if I want to. I think this is pretty good. Because now I can play the Dalny here. Okay, I saw the line. Wait, that was hard. That was a hard freaking line here. A hard freaking line here. Okay, alright. Here we go, baby. Here we go, Bloodwing! All of your freaking removal didn't help you in the end! Exactis, baby! Freaking exactis! Hey ho! Let's go, man! Jesus freaking Christ, man! Jesus freaking Christ, man! Call me the Tiger King! Because I just uppercutted the heck out of them! That was a Street Fighter reference. I did have fun. That was a good game. That was a good game. We're up against dinosaurs. Calling it straight up. Nobody used this avatar without playing dinosaurs. This hand is perfection. This hand is just literal perfection. Oh, it's Demir. We can do this. Because we can then just play Ilias Elcor into the voice of the blessed. Okay. All right. Let's still play Ilias Elcor here. Do you have a counter spell in hand? Do you have it? Oh, you just have the removal. Okay, cut down. Is it a cut down? So we have to live with a... Um... Alright, that is fine with me. Still gaining the life. We have to live with sunfalls here, so we need to be careful. We need to be careful. Demir dinosaurs, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely what this is. Absolutely what this is. 
So, I'm a little bit afraid of what they might have. They do have counter spellage. Which, you know, is not the worst thing ever. A land off the top, okay. They have another get lost. Oh, it's a void rent. Well, I mean, hey. They're using it here, they're not using it on my Kaya. Yeah? So, do you have your Jace in hand? Do you freaking have it? They do! I'm so good at this game! I'm so good at this game! Alright. I mean, that helps me. You don't even know how much that helps me, so thank you very much. Let's make the spirit here first. Of course they do, you know. Of course, like... Why shouldn't they? A bit of triumph, though, is pretty darn good. I like it a lot. So their game was just absolute perfection up until now. Lunark Veteran, yes please, I would like that. So here comes the Sunfall now. Like, you can bet on it. Like, 100% Sunfall. <gasps> Not Sunfall? Okay. Alright. Not Sunfall. I need to get in for as much damage as I can, though. But let's do this. Get rid of their Jace, just in case, you know. And the Rafine's Tower, I don't like it. Another land. It's okay. We didn't get enough life, though. Here it is. Farewell. No? Okay. Kind of to be expected, but hey. The thing is, I can just replay it. And then the cases will be solved, so that is pretty good in my eyes. Okay. So, case is solved. Case is solved, man. Nice. Thanks. I mean, you literally knew that that was happening. I'm amazed at how well received uh, the latest status it is. I mean, I did. I did try to get as many as I could here. And they scoop. That is right, man. Oh, no sunfall. No party, man. No freaking party, man. Jesus Christ, get out of here. Alrighty, we're up against Boca. In Boca Lupo. <gasps> Crimus! Yes, Crimus! The hand is okay. I will keep it for now. Because if we ever find a way to gain some life... Yo, Orzov indeed, my friend! Oh, there it finally is! Mono Red, eh? I was waiting for you, my friend. I was freaking waiting for you. Let us see what they're doing, if they're just shooting it straight up. They are. Lightning strike. Okay. I hope we do draw another land here. I know how that sounds, but I really hope we do. <gasps> that is super good, though, isn't it? It is super good. So we're doing this now. Passing the turn. Let's see what they're doing. Squee. I mean, I'm just, you know, still losing the life, but the creature is gone, so that is pretty okay to me. I still hope to find a land here. Ooh. I'm doing this. 
Because that means that if we do find another land here, we're super darn happy. Super darn freaking happy. Felden Sheldon, okay. Really? They never not have it. Never not have it, man. Super darn good, okay. Time to gain some life here. Am I the only one absolutely loves the cosmic lands? No, they're pretty good. They're pretty darn good. Uh, there's nothing to say over the tip that they're pretty darn good. Okay, alright. Fine with me. Are they drawing a card? Nope. Just straight up doing this. Okay, fine with me. Once more. Are you attacking with everything? Wow. They really are. Just attacking in with everything. Beautiful. This land is not what I wanted to see here, but hey, I'll take it. So let's start our power moves here. Is there a reason to play this land now? Nope, if I do draw another land next turn, that is still fine. They don't have enough for a squee. Oh no, a land! I'm so sorry, Mono Red! I am so sorry for you! Not? They will still just be swinging and whatever. Oh, they don't! They don't! Okay, alright. Then that's fine. Good thing I kept the land though, right? So there's literally no reason not to attack in with everything, but I will just uh, attack in only with the uh, voice of the blessed. Because they can never remove it. They, they don't have enough for anything here. So, Mono Red crying tears of sadness. Even though they had a very good start to remove everything that I owned. But I can just bid a triumph them here, which is absolutely great. Let's give him a little Liliana slappity slap. Easiest game of my life, I might say. Easiest freaking game of my life. Man, really. Really Mono Red. Really Mono Red. Okay, alright. Yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna block here like this. Block here like this. And that is it. You get out of here, my friend. You get freaking out of here. Good thing we kept the card, right? Smurts, my friend. Smurts. Some people are like, should I play the land? I don't know. We will be losing one life here, but that is alright. There is no way that they can deal me like 7 dam- 8 damage here. Like, no way ever. They can destroy the Wisp Drinker Vampire if they want to, but I don't think that will happen. I just don't think that that will freaking happen. Man, this deck just slaps. Slaps the stupid into their face, man. That is what this deck does. And they scoop. Could have done it like three turns ago because they knew they had no chance against the power of life gain. Oh, this deck is an absolute freaking powerhouse. It's a brick house of power. So we lost that one game against um, Domain Control and the one game against Golgari, but for the rest, we're good. <gasps> Rimmers, yes. Okay, all right. So by the way, maybe we need like a Krimis command with the video so that people know what, you know, what I'm saying. But because a lot of people are wondering, but at least on live stream, <laughs> they will be able to learn. They will be able to learn. Yeah, it's like I always say, it's like pooping. But we won, we won, so... I always say Mono Red going first and losing is like pooping, you know? You have to do it once a day, but uh, today we didn't. We didn't poop yet. <laughs> I'm sorry for the images. Oh, I mean, that is, you know, a no-brainer. So it's another domain control deck, eh? I will do that. Merry Chrysler. Happy Christmas. That is just so tasty. 
so freaking tasty, man. Uh, yeah, like as I said, they're domain control. Like, it's not even like, you know, a surprise at this point. You see one of these, you know it's domain control. I hope we get another land here. I know how that sounds, but I really hope we get another land here. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Thank you very darn freaking much. So we're getting in there for a lot of freaking damage, you know? A lot of damage. So, come at me, bro. Come freaking at me, bro. Even if they, like, exile my voice of the blessed now. What else are they even going to do? That is right, Berserk! Oh, you can swing your giant sword all you want! The mark of the curse will never get to me because I am superior to the god hand. Yes, I read Berserk. I love Berserk. And I'm super sad that it's like three months since the last chapter came out. Man, is the good story. And we won. We won. We're up against Eclothesis. Opponent's going first. I do not like it too much, but I kind of like the hand here. Kaya is a good start, you know. It's another mono red. This time they're going first. Okay, all right. Bringing you. Let's just try to waste some fools here. So the life gain is absolutely huge. They have the monster roll here. Otherwise they would know they don't. Just attacking in, okay. All right, let's go. Uh, Berserk is one of the best mangas ever made. Like, not even close to a contest. It's just insanely good. And it's like, it runs since like years. Years. So, um, yeah, it's a very, very good manga. If you are into manga, I can absolutely recommend you, you read it. Just absolutely. And you will be reading for months. Like, it took me like three months to read the whole freaking story. It was crazy good. Crazy good. So, we're still at 21 life against the mono red deck going first, so I don't really care about that, you know? If they want to, like, destroy my both Lunark veterans, that is fine with me. It can do so. Okay, alright. Don't really care about that too much. The Krimis command has been added. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Holy. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, they're really doing it. <laughs> they're really doing it. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, that is fine with me. What? What? Are you for real? I still have this. I don't care about that at all. I'm not even close to it. I'm not even close to caring about it. Geez, some people really. I'm not even close to caring about it, Aclothesis. Aclothesis. I will just bring out Kaya here, I think. So, Ginger. Does it get trample? It does. It does get trample. Let's bring in the vampire here. So, Kaya right now, not the best, but we're getting there. Even without the freaking uh, voice of the blessed, we're still doing well here. We're still doing well. Yeah, you can do that, my friend. No worries whatsoever. Life is but a resource to me. And look how much life we're getting. Look at how much life we're getting. You know, that is pretty good if you ask me. And now we can even block that Lord Ginger Breeders. So we solved the case once more. Easy freaking peasy. Nothing to scoff at. Just, you know, the typical easy peasiness. And will I block this? Absolutely will I block this. I got 100 percentile. Yeah, I'll read my new card. Mr. I don't play new cards. Read it. Read them and weep. 
Read them and freaking weep, man. That is just what is up. Man, this deck is so good. And it got even freaking better. It got even freaking better. So I think we have to play the Mole God afterwards. So let us see uh, how we're building around the Mole God. I don't know yet. We, we will have to find out. Okay. Yeah, that is absolutely fine with me. Go ahead and do that. Draw two cards. That is such a bad card. Like, in all honesty, such a bad card. Like a real, real bad card. You're not even attacking in here, Wuz. What is with the land situation, man? Um... Yo, Pedro Gordo, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. I really, really appreciate it. We're gaining more by doing this. Like, we gain the blocker, that will trigger this. We're gaining the life. So, yeah, absolutely okay. Good morning, my friend. Welcome back to you as well. Welcome back to you as well, my friend. So... Mr. Aclothesis, what is a grand freaking scheme here? Like, if you need lands, just play Assemble the Players and you can be certain that like 50% of the cards on top will be lands, at least. At least. Just attacking with the Sir Ginger, I mean, hey, you know? Okay, so they had three of them. They just had freaking three of them. That is craziness. <laughs> that is craziness. <laughs> Oh, they are playing new cards. They are playing new cards. Alrighty. Okay. That is good. I like it. Thing is, this gets hexproof, right? Yeah, it does. So playing my Kaya here is just like not the smartest thing ever. Because I cannot even target it, you know? Are they finally attacking in with it? No, they're not. They're not a land on top? Of course there is. Like, <laughs> not even a surprise. <laughs> Not even a surprise here. So I want to draw cards. I just want to draw cards. Malones just want to draw cards. Oh, Malones just want to draw cards. And I mean, there's still a lot of damage coming their way, you know? Up, oh, okay. Alright, so we can finally play, um... The Kaya afterwards, which is pretty darn good. I like that a lot. Play with fire, okay. I'm still gaining a life, so it's fine with me. Alrighty. Ending the turn, drawing a card is another land. Bit of triumph is fine. That is pretty good. Bit of triumph is pretty darn good. But we have three here, four, five, six. It's not enough yet. But we're close. We're close enough. We are close freaking enough to it. And I like it. Oh, are you destroying my luminous phantom now? Jeez, Louise. <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, why? Okay. All right. I don't really care about it too much, you know? I can just crack the case and play it again. Oh, they want to do this. How many cards do they draw? They get four cards for this. That is pretty good. But, hey, you know, I don't really care about it too much. Another Kaya here. Not exactly what I was looking for, but hey. Nothing phases me. Monsters know better than to hide under my bed. That's pretty good, though. Is there anything in here? Nope, there is not. So we're still, you know, we're gaining a lot of life, so I'm not even scared here. I should be a little bit, maybe, but I'm not. Absolutely not. Does this happen every turn? Wait, what? 
Oh, because they have to discard their hand. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Make us a sense. So, the thing is that this will pump up my Delny, so I don't want to do that. Alright. And? What else though, my friend? So there should be a point in time where you know what the assembled players are. Okay, alright. It does have Trample now. This card is just not that good. It's not at all. So what you doing here, my friend? A Cloth Thesis. They're just, you know, doing not too much here. Which is alright with me. My turn. Please don't be a land on top. It is a land on top. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it freaking a beautiful? So... Thing is we can do this though. Oh my lord! Game! There's still another land on top? Wow. Wow. That is impressive. That is absolutely impressive. Sometimes people rely a little too That is absolutely impressive. Not even lying. I'm absolutely impressed. They can block there with their face down card if they want to. But what even is that card, you know? Okay. Alright, I hope it was worth it. I'm absolutely impressed, man. How many cards, uh, lands was that on top now? Three on top. Three on top! Okay, alright. What you got here for me, my friend? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you just discard one of your best cards? Looks like you did! That is just absolute madness! So we do have this uh, shadowy backstreet, which is super good with the assembly. But do you remember what I said at the beginning of the game? If you need lands, just play the shadowy backstreet. Just do that. Easy as one, two, three. What do you think they're doing? Uh, players can't gain life this turn. Okay. Don't really care about that, to be honest. I do not even care ever so slightly about it. Alright, do you think they will attack my Kaya here? They just lost the game. And they just lost the game. Because I would just turn my um, little dude into a Dalny. And then it's a 3 3, which is nice. Elias Elcor? Yeah, they scoop. <laughs> <laughs> they just freaking scoop. Get out of here, Mono Red. Get out of here. And so, yeah, the intro was a little long. The games were awesome. I have, like I said, the game is absolutely, the deck's absolutely great. I wish I could keep on playing it like for 10 days on stream, but uh, you know, by it. I have to try out some other decks, and uh, some of them were also very darn good and crazy. So you will see the next two decks that we have, absolutely bananas. I want to thank you also very much for staying until the end. If you are still here, please put a little Maloney Streetwise look at down in the comments. I would appreciate it very freaking much. And uh, yeah, a huge shout out of course to all my patrons and members, and my sponsor, Ultimate Guard, that keeps uh, the show alive so much. Like, seriously, seriously. There's hard times in the MTG community where, like, you know, people are just bored of the meta, like, for the last month or something. And having a sponsor like Ultimate Guard helps me out very, very freaking much. So, if you find it in your heart, click the link down below. Show them that you care. 
I would appreciate it very, very freaking much. And they, of course, as well. Uh, I renewed my contract, so I'm there for another year. That is pretty amazing. Uh, I want to thank Ultimate Guard for that. Uh, that is pretty cool. And um, so I hope to see you all on some Magic Cons very soon in Amsterdam, for example. And uh, wearing my cool Ultimate Guard swag there. And yeah, my friend, remember that if you're waking up tomorrow morning, and it's a beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror. That out of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Manchester Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.